Harry will have to endure the shocking of Oprah in public. Oprah Winfrey's bombshell interview will have a long-lasting effect on Prince Harry's public appearances, a royal commentator has predicted, as he will be expected to keep talking about the same intimate issues. Oprah has been widely praised for her interviewing skills after Harry and his wife Meghan Markle opened up to the famous US TV host in March. They revealed what life had really been like for them behind palace walls in the extensive two-hour interview, while making a series of serious allegations against the firm and how it deals with mental health and race. Both said they felt trapped in the system of the monarchy, and unprotected from negative press coverage. Now Oprah and Harry have returned to the topic of the Sussexes' royal exit once again in their new docuseries, The Me You Can't See, which landed on Apple TV Plus this week. The Duke of Sussex confides in Oprah once again, telling her about how therapy helped him heal from the past, and how his royal environment did not encourage individuals to seek counseling. He also made new revelations about his reaction to the death of his mother Princess Diana, and claimed no one talked about it afterwards, and that he still feels helpless over his inability to protect her. Harry took aim at Prince Charles too, and how his father just told him to accept the pressures of public life. Speaking on Pod Save the Queen just before the series was launched, podcast host Dan Gripper and the Daily Mirror's royal editor Russell Myers predicted that Harry will have to keep revisiting these traumatic experiences now that he has already shared them in so much detail. Speaking about the CBS special, Ms. Gripper said, this is the thing about doing that interview with Oprah, once you have said those things, any other interview that you go and do, that same bruise will be poked, essentially, to go a bit more into it, or talk about it a bit more, so it will be interesting to see how that evolves. Indeed, the Duke of Sussex did tell Oprah in their new series, I don't want to think about her, Diana, because if I think about her, it's going to bring up the fact that I can't bring her back. It's just going to make me sad. What's the point of thinking about something sad? While these conversations demonstrate Harry is now more willing to discuss his mother, he also told ITV's Tom Bradby's that Diana's death was a festering wound he still carries with him back in 2019. It seems likely that he will be expected to continue talking about these painful memories for some time, having now brought them back into the mainstream. In contrast, Prince William promised after the 20th anniversary of his mother's death that he would not be talking about her so openly again. Even before Harry's docuseries with Oprah aired, but after his March CBS special, the Duke had already delved deep into his past yet again. Speaking to actor Dax Shepard for his podcast, Armchair Expert, he compared his time as a royal to being an exhibit in a zoo and to being on the famous 1995 The Truman Show. Despite speaking more openly about his personal life since moving to L.A., Harry also told Dax that life in the U.S. meant, I can actually lift my head, you can walk around feeling a little bit more free. Harry also went as far as to criticize not just his father, but his grandparents, the Queen and the late Prince Philip, even though he previously expressed his affection for them both during his last tell-all in April. He said, there's no blame. 
I don't think we should be pointing the finger or blaming anybody. But certainly, when it comes to parenting, if I've experienced some form of pain or suffering, because of the pain or suffering that perhaps my father or my parents had suffered, I'm going to make sure that I break that cycle, so that I don't pass it on. On Pod Save the Queen, Mr. Myers also speculated that this appearance was to promote Harry's docuseries. He said, he's obviously doing it to promote his Apple show with Oprah.